It's always unsettling when you come across a scatter plot where much of the developed world is hanging out together over here, and the U.S. is in a different galaxy. In this case, it's gun ownership rates plotted against gun death rates. It's a very big, very difficult problem. What do we do about it? Well, the RAND Corporation just put out this incredible table that summarizes more than 150 studies about how these policies affect these outcomes. I'll highlight the ones with M's and S's. Those mean moderate evidence and supportive evidence, which is the strongest result. And the arrow shows the direction of the effect. Unfortunately, when it comes to mass shootings, we don't know much about what works yet. But we do know that we can reduce the deaths of kids and teens with laws that require guns to be kept out of reach of children. And then there are a couple of policies that seem to increase homicides. One is the stand your ground laws, which make it easier for someone to use deadly force when they feel threatened. And second, laws that make it easier for people to get a concealed carry permit. Right now, a majority of U.S. states have both of those laws on the books.